Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, this video could get a little emotional, it could be a little bit longer than usual, but I feel like it's so necessary to do. Um, so make sure you grab like your snacks, your drinks, just get comfy because I'm pretty much here in this video to explain what quarantine is like for me, where I have been on YouTube, because obviously I have not been on YouTube, I have just been so like scattered, um, and pretty much I'm just going to be like explaining my scenarios, like an update, but an isolation update, because if isolation did not happen, half of this stuff would not have happened, so... Grab your snacks, do all that fun stuff, but that is what I'm going to be doing in this video. So if you do enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and other than that, let's get into this video. <laughs> not really get like pity or anything but let you know what i've been going through um kind of just i know a lot of other people have gone through these things have possibly are going through these things or they're getting to the age or the stage where they probably might go through these things so i guess i just want to make it to to share with you that you know you're not alone i obviously have made a couple of these videos before i think honestly i reckon my last one i did was not that long ago at all but look it's okay i feel like i share like majority of my life on here and you know it's a, um, an amazing platform i love love youtube and i think it just is beneficial to share your life with your viewers so that they can interact you know you can you can relate in a way i guess so we're gonna start um with like just just isolation itself. I know everyone is going through it right now, literally everyone in the world, and I can tell you I am not a fan. I just, no, nah, I don't like it. The first week or two, I was like, this is great, like, you know, don't have to go to school, um, like, don't have to see people, and now it's been, I've been in isolation for about five weeks now, going on to six weeks. We got pulled out of school early, um, but in the first couple of weeks, I still have my sport and stuff. So I was like, this is just great. I just don't have to go to school. Now, I am seriously hating isolation. I don't know if any of you guys are. I don't know what or how you're spending your isolation. But honestly, it is horrible. You can't go out to distract yourself. You can't go to the movies. You just have to sit around at home and... Literally, all I have been doing is thinking, procrastinating. I've pretty much organized literally everything that I can organize. Um, and then, obviously, you know, in Australia or in South Australia, we can still go to, like, Coles or Bunnings or Kmart. Um, those are still all open, but there's only so much you can buy and so much time you can spend out in the shops before it starts to become wrong or before you start to run out of money. So, <laughs> I am seriously disliking isolation. Let me know in the comments down below if you are. Um, it's just, I feel like it's just made everyone stop and think, like... Some for the better, some for the worse. I mean, my mental health has definitely taken, like, the back streets. It's definitely not been that good. So, I guess that's something we can all relate to straight away. Like, isolation is just, it's just horrible. Okay, next up, we're going to talk about um, a hobby that I have been doing, that I have been loving. Uh, it's obviously been very hard to pursue this hobby, but... If you follow my personal Instagram page, you have been aware. I have started my own lash business. Now, this is in conjunction with my course. So in my course, I'm studying makeup, brows, spray tanning, and lash extensions. And I'm doing all of those over the course of this year and next year. And I have loved 
every single second of it. Now my lash course, because of this isolation, got cut off because obviously we're in each other's faces and stuff, but I've been practicing on my sister so much. Now I have been loving it. It is so therapeutic for me. And I thought, you know what? School's not for me. I have YouTube, I have my lash business, and I may as well start things now so that when we come out of isolation, I'm pretty sure every single girl is wanting to get their lashes done. So I started an Instagram page. It's called Studio Lash and Beauty. I will put a little picture of the profile here and I'll put a link as well so you can just go chuck a follow as well. Um, but I've just been posting pictures of my sister um, with her lashes. I've been definitely, definitely trying to grow that. So that has been a really, really exciting thing. It's kind of like a little announcement. Next thing on my list that I want to talk about is, of course, YouTube. Now, <sighs> I'm just going to put it straight out there. I have thought about stopping YouTube um, quite a lot recently. I have just thought, I don't know if it's worth it. You know, like the videos that I'm doing are not doing as well as I'd hope to. I'm putting in a lot of effort for something that just isn't getting as much as I wanted it to um but I don't know I guess I'm still sitting here I'm still making videos I in the long run I think I will keep doing YouTube there's just been a few stages where I'm like I have way too much stuff on my plate right now I cannot be making videos so I've taken like a week at a time off which obviously is not very good but it's not my full-time job it's not like anything like that it is just a hobby so I guess I don't know maybe I'm taking it more seriously than I need to but I am very passionate about it. I do like editing and filming and all these kinds of things. It's just sometimes it's a lot more effort than I feel like I have, if that makes sense. But I do, like some days, I will absolutely love it. Today I filmed three videos and I've been on a roll. I'm like, yes, I'm going to do it. But who knows, maybe like next week I'll be like, I just... <sighs> It's just really hard to find motivation and it's because of this quarantine. I'm sitting around just watching you just watching YouTube and Netflix and all these things. I just need to get up and just do stuff. So yes, I've been very um confused in the YouTube department of how I want to keep going with this and stuff like that. So yes, my new uploading schedule i posted this on my instagram story as well is it's going to be every tuesday thursday and sunday at 5 p.m so i'm setting it down my dog i'm setting those times and days down um i'm really gonna lock those in and i'm trying to set myself goals so i've planned out my videos in like month so this here is my YouTube schedule. So it's this massive like A3 like notebook of all these different months. And I'm filling in when I'm uploading, um, all those kinds of things. So I got a bigger one so that it can just sit there and it can remind me. I'm also trying to like pre-film videos so that I can be ahead of the schedule if that makes sense. But yeah. With the whole isolation thing, a big thing that I've been struggling with, even though I'm only 16, is I do work for my mum and my mum makes wedding cakes and birthday cakes and all of those functions get cancelled. So I have been really, really struggling to get money to fund the things that I want to do and to have fun. Um, but look, we're planning to do the whole like job seeker thing where I can apply for the payments because technically I've lost my job and it is, it's really killing me. I'm not going to lie because I just seriously need money. I just do because it is stopping me from doing so many things right now. Um, but I mean... What can you do really? I, I feel like I'm just kind of going on about how poor my life is and how, you know, how much isolation is ruining my life. But, you know, everyone is going through isolation. So, I guess I'm just kind of telling you these things so that you can relate. Like, if you've lost your job or if, um, you know, you're debating in your thoughts or you're trying to do your hobbies but isolation is stopping them, it's just... Mm. 
Mm, that's just where I've been. I've been just that thinking constantly over and over again. And it's it's just really taken a toll on my brain. <laughs> now, with school, look, I don't really know what school is at the moment. We are on school holidays now, but it's about to come to an end. Like, I, I don't see how online school is going to help me personally. We are using Microsoft Teams. So it's literally like a group chat and all you can do is text. But I personally learn when I'm like hands on or when a teacher's there to explain it to me and, you know, draw things to help me visualize it that's how i learn but i'm also taking subjects like peer support which a lot of you probably don't know what it is so i'm a year 11 and i pretty much work with the year eight to help them settle into high school if that makes sense um but i don't know how i'm gonna do that if no one's at school so like <laughs> yeah i don't really know what school is at this point i've had thoughts where i'm like i may as well just drop out now because School's like pretty much over and yeah, online school, I haven't done schooling for about five weeks. We went online last term and I can confirm I didn't go online once. I just, <laughs> it is so bad, but I'm just putting it out there. Like is anyone else struggling with online schooling or are you struggling to feel motivated or, you know, to learn new topics and stuff that your teachers are bringing in? Because personally, I have no idea what's going on. All I know is that it's just not working for me. So I need to find ways to be productive, to start learning. Um, because this year, if I don't pass subjects, for example, psychology, if I don't pass psychology this year, I can't do it next year. That's going to be a bit of an issue if I'm not at school, isn't it? So I don't really know what school is at the moment. I don't really... <laughs> that's like the least of my priorities right now because... You know, I have so much other stuff going on in my life. <sighs> Something super exciting that has happened is I did get a car. I posted it a couple of couple of weeks ago, maybe a week and a half now on my Instagram. And I got a car. I was super duper excited. So now I can start making car videos. I really want to do like 24 hours in my car. Um, I really want to do like a car tour, a drive with me, a mukbang, um, all those kinds of videos. I actually have a car tour and a vlog coming soon. So I'm pretty much just going to go to Kmart, buy like an air freshener, like, um, what's it called? Those like wash bucket things. Um, and I'm going to order a few things online to make the car more personalized to me. But I got a Suzuki Swift. I'm so excited. I love it. It is a manual though. So me and my mom need to start doing a few driving lessons because my mom has an automatic and I've done all of my driving hours in her car. So I have finished those like four months prior to like that I need to, which I'm super excited for. So I'm eligible to go for my P's, which is coming in September. <laughs> Thank God freedom is coming. Um, but yes, I need to learn to drive the car that I have. <laughs> that sounds so dumb, but like, yeah, that's been super duper exciting. Um, yeah. This whole video, honestly, the purpose of it was to just tell you where I've been, where my thoughts have been. I've had really, really bad anxiety. Um, I've had really bad, like I haven't been sleeping properly. Just, I don't even know what's going on with me, to be honest. But I wanted to kind of just make this video to show you where I've been, to tell you that this isolation is horrible and I think we can all agree on that. Um, but yeah, I just want my normal back. I just want it back. And the same with my cheer, like we have competitions coming up at the end of August, but we can't do classes because cheerleading is obviously a contact sport, like we're holding people in the air and you can't do that when you need to be 1.5 meters away, can you? <clears throat> So we're literally having to learn our curry through YouTube videos. Um, haven't done any of that either. Like, <laughs> I really just got to find myself 
to get motivated to just get up try and live my normal life like if i have cheer up normally on a monday night from six to nine then maybe i should do my videos like watch my youtube videos and learn my cory from six to nine because that would be a smart thing to do but i have just had so many thoughts going on in my head so many like anxiety things going on so much yeah just quarantine has really really messed up my mentality and my routine and my hobbies and just my relationships with people and everything i just haven't been a fan of it and yeah I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to say. Yeah. Let me know in the comments down below things you have been doing in quarantine because hopefully I can find some interesting things to do. I can start making my days productive um, because it makes me feel really, really crap when I just sit in bed all day and I'm fairly certain I've done that 90% of this quarantine. Anyways, um, it is extremely normal to be feeling these things. I've just started counselling and my counsellor has said it is extremely normal. You just need to know that it's going to take time. It's going to be okay. It really is. I, I just wanted to make this video to let you know where I have been, how my isolation life is going. I'm probably going to start doing a few isolation vlogs and like days in my life and stuff like that because... Maybe that will make me feel motivated, like, hopefully. When I film stuff, I know I have to do it good because then I'm going to get judged or something. So maybe that's how I can start getting motivated. I can just start posting it all on YouTube. <sighs> yeah, I don't really know, but that's where I've been. That's how my isolation has been going. I hope that everyone is still coping somewhat, um, but yeah. I'm still sitting here, I'm still filming videos, you know, I'm still in isolation as everyone else is, um, but yeah, my Instagram DMs are always open if you need a chat, make sure you follow up my Instagram business page and my personal page because I'm always posting on my stories and I'm definitely, definitely trying to grow my studio lash and beauty page so i think i'm gonna leave it here it has been pretty long but it's just been like a nice chill sit down video i guess and i've kind of really really enjoyed it so i hope you have too if you did please give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below and other than that i'll see you hopefully very soon for a brand new video bye